So I think that people, when they hear about St. Francis Children's Center, they think about our flagship early education center. And sometimes what they don't know is that we really serve children from birth until age 22. So children like Nathan, who's 17 and in high school, this is not rare for St. Francis Children's Center. We are there to walk beside children and to look at the needs that they have and to say, how are we going to support you and ensure that you have the foundations to be successful as an adult? And that's really our role. Nathan is adopted from Russia. We knew that Nathan, uh, when we adopted him, had a vision issue. Um, when we started going to the doctors and knowing how small he was and things, we did not know how much of an issue and all the other issues that were going to follow. Nathan was hard when he came home. Um, he was a hard baby. He uh, rocked himself. He didn't know how to chew and swallow. He just swallowed everything whole because he just didn't have any of that sensory exposure. We did start noticing that some of his developmental things weren't kind of timing out as we thought they might um, when he got home. He was biting me over a hundred times a day. Um, he just wouldn't sleep. Um, it was some really long nights, hard days, tons of therapy appointments and a gazillion doctor's appointments to go with that. The mission of St. Francis Children's Center is to ensure that children with special needs are able to reach their greatest potential. So sometimes it may be a child coming to us for early childhood education. Other times it may be early intervention pediatric therapies. And for some children who have ongoing um, special needs, it can be children's long-term support. And what that means is that we walk beside the child for many years to ensure that they are able to receive the therapies that they need, um, community resources, and ongoing general support, ensuring that they reach their greatest potential as a young person. So Nathan is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Some of the things he struggled with was transitions were really hard for him. So different times of the year were difficult, uh, transitioning from school to home, trying new things, uh, things that were out of routine could get him really upset. So little things that another kid could kind of brush off that would, he would spiral. My reactions would be like me having a meltdown, you know, crying on the floor for like, six hours, I guess, covering my ears and trying to keep out, like, different, like, stimuli from my body or whatever and just trying to deal with, like, one sort of problem. Anything moved out of our day or changed, Nathan would have the biggest meltdown and we would probably have, like, 25 meltdowns a day and that could be hitting, kicking, biting, just anything. And I felt alone. I felt really, um, I was doing a lot of the work by myself. My husband at the time had to work, um, and it was just me and Nathan, and throwing in that attachment of just getting this kid to know me and me to know him and personality, and just exhausted. I would literally just sleep a couple hours a night, holding the kid, trying to calm him down, knowing that this was a big mess for all of us. It was kind of a hard slap a lot of the times when, um, you go to the park and see what these other kids are doing and not being included, but purposely excluded from things. And being a special needs parent, that's a really lonely place to be. So I think that oftentimes parents, when they begin their journey and have a diagnosis for their child or begin to suspect that their child may have special needs, it can be a very isolating feeling. And so to find a community resource like St. Francis Children's Center is such a lifeline for that parent. When we can fold parents into children's long-term support, we give them resources um, 
and support to help their child, but also their entire family succeed. And then from children's long-term support, we also have other incredible programs, like our Family Activity Center, which is open to any family in the community who suspects that their child has special needs or who's received a diagnosis. And the mission of the Family Activity Center is to help parents reduce isolation and build networks of support. We've had so many parents come to us and say, without St. Francis Children's Center and without these programs, I just don't know what I would have done. They were a really wonderful resource for us. They were always kind of thinking of the next steps and reminding me that we want to continue to grow Nathan and help um, give him those tools and supports for a lot of those skills that have been splintered off. I guess just one day I picked up a computer and I was like, eh, that video game looks cool. And then I just was like, eh, let's learn about programming because programmers make video games and I like video games. So then I was like, okay, let's see how we can make that. So within the Children's Long-Term Support Program, we have this incredible team of what we call service coordinators. They are essentially social workers who their job is to actively listen to the families and the children that we're serving, to find out what are the individualized needs of that child, and how do I marry um, different programs to support that child's needs. So for Nathan, Islands of Brilliance was one thing that really helped his spirit come alive and to support the interests that he had. I think Islands of Brilliance is a great program because it's helped kind of teach me technical skills and we'll also try to sneak a bit of like social rules learning stuff in there I've noticed. They try to make it like so we don't notice but I notice. <laughs> Um, but it's good because you get to learn like professionalism and stuff so you're not like awkward in like a job interview or something. I remember both Kristen and Amanda seeing how they've just been doing a lot of neat things with teenagers and kind of helping them steer towards a career path. I thought it was just going to be another computer class, but it gave me a lot to reflect that how St. Francis was already thinking of my kid's future and trying to kind of help steer his self-interest. It's that active listening, that compassion, and that mission-focused work ethic, the, the commitment to our philosophy that all children can learn if we can learn how to teach them. I feel like I've come a long way because before I could barely manage kind of like my assignments and stuff and keep things in order and was very unorganized and now I can like actually do that stuff and before I wouldn't like hang out with friends because of like anxiety or whatever and I'm doing that now so I kind of see the growth there. When I think back to where he started in the beginning of this journey when he was four or five with St. Francis to where he is now, never in my wildest dreams would he be this kid who has a job and got a black belt in Taekwondo and he's actually made a friend. He even went to prom this year. Like, he came home like, I'm going to go to prom with friends. I'm like, huh? It was just huge. I have, nothing could have floored me over more. I'm just so proud of the young man he's becoming into, the kind, the gentle, conscientious. Um, we still have autism in big ways, but it's been nice to see some maturity and to see him happy. No child should face a barrier that prevents them from reaching their goals. That we are always going to remove those barriers. We're going to challenge assumptions. We are going to work as a team to figure out what exactly each child needs. Words can never thank the teams and the people that we've been connected with that have all put that love and time into him and the fact that he's endured and just rose up to every single challenge that's ever faced him. I don't know what the future looks like, but it's gonna be pretty cool, in my opinion, because of the cool things I've gotten up to do up until now, just like with, I guess, all the nerdy things I've been able to do, and then going forward, they'll get just nerdier and nerdier. <laughs> um. 
he's just the complete joy of my life. I, he's, he's my son, um, and I just couldn't be more prouder of him.